<clears throat> All right, almost done. Time for episode three. They stole Max's brain. Yay. Refresh it, I should have just changed it. Thanks to our magnificent brains, most of us live out our lives under the delusion that we are in control. But are our brains truly in control? Makes you think, doesn't it? Engrossed in the thrilling cinematic exploits of their ancestors, the freelance police have had no time to ponder these eternally vexing questions. Part of light, but in mere know. moments, they and you yeah, will be plunged care. head first into these murky philosophical depths when Sam returns from his ill timed bathroom break to discover they stole Max's brain. Max? Little buddy? No, 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 no! What happened? Hey! What happened to Max? Talk! <laughs> we don't know! One second we were guarding the devil's toy box, then BAM! Out went the lights! Through a fog of rage, darkness, and raisinets, I tried to remember <laughs> what Flint Paper told me about interrogating suspects. <clears throat> Rule number one, don't let the suspect control the conversation. Get him talking, then surprise him. Interrupt him with a question, or call him a liar, freak him out! <laughs> and if all else fails, bring little Miss Persuasion out for a stroll. Stole from the desk of flint paper. Investigation pummeling. Try interrupting the suspect's story with a question or a threat. Actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. Really? Because I distinctly heard it more like a bam. Anyway, someone knocked this out working. with a booming and... Oh, there it goes. Forgot about subtitles. Booming and or bamming. You say the lights went out? That light was joy. And it's getting snuffed out all over the city, dragging us all into a sea of blackness. Can we go? Your gramophides are really bringing us down. And we're in a doomsday cult. No, keep talking. <laughs> That's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Rule number two, timing is everything. When you hear the suspect lying, that's when you jump in and accuse him. When, you're up, when you interrupt different parts of a suspect story, you get different responses. The right interruption at the right time can break the suspect. Yep, I was totally unconscious the whole time. I certainly didn't see anything interesting. No, sir, Bob. Liar! All right, all right! 
I came to before Jebediah, just in time to hear the telltale sounds of a brain being removed from a bunny. <laughs> Obadiah, why didn't you do anything? I was afraid. Afraid that he'd remove my brain, too. Who? Who took Max's brain? It was the space gorilla! Skunk Abe. Of course. He must have been released from the penal zone when the toy box was stolen. I'm so sorry. Not half as sorry as that brain-stealing space ape's gonna be when I catch up with him. Rule number three. Mole men are easy. To crack the tough nuts, you'll need information to prove your case. Sometimes you gotta ask around to get the dirt on the doers. Now, go get them. <laughs> Sometimes info from one suspect will help you break another. Remember to interrupt at the right time to get the info you need. Good luck. I wrote a mental note to thank Flint at Max's funeral and got ready to squeeze some punks. General Skunky. I should have known. That space ape had wanted Max's brain ever since he found out it was special. <laughs> now that special brain was gone, and I was cut loose, drifting in the neon current, hoping for a lucky break. One lawyer game? I don't think I know which one you're talking about. Hello, ugly. You! You're one of Skunk Ape's goons! Where's your boss? What did he do to my little buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the dimensional boundaries. Anyhow, since Skunk Ape's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a sign spinner. It's a very fulfilling, low-temperature job, more suited to a space ape of a certain age. You can't reevaluate your way out of fate, chump. We're all headed for a pine box and a boilerplate eulogy, and you can't change that any more than a tiger can change his pants. You possess a very depressing worldview. It comes with the territory when someone cuts out your partner's brain. Enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of the rat. What rat? <laughs> Frankie the rat. He traffics in stolen merchandise and tawdry gambling rings. Yeah, Where can I find Phoenix, him? Right. He hangs out on the corner of Vinny and Vidi in the Latin Quarter. Huh. Frankie the Rat. The name left a bad taste on my tongue and an itchy sensation in my boxers. <laughs> Still, there wasn't a rodent more plugged into the bad wiring in this city. Like his uh, five o'clock shadow. It's pretty intense. <laughs> How's it hanging? My partner's got a bad case of a missing brain, and someone thinks you might know something about it. A uh, brain, huh? Uh, well, I did see something unusual and brain-related a little while back. Spill! I was given directions to a confused tourist. Poor fellow was wandering around in circles, scaring all the kitties with his umlauts and tvortis knocks and whatnot. I was almost done helping the guy, see? When BAM! All of a sudden, this space ape comes barreling down the street, fighting with some other mook. A space ape carrying a brain! Skunk ape. I hadn't seen anything that weird since Aunt Jacqueline's vacation slides from Pismo Beach. A brain? Was it Max's? 
How should I know? All I know, it was a brain in a jar. And that crazy space gorilla was holding on to it like it was his best friend in the world. <sighs> so anyways, so I grabbed the tourist, and we ducked behind a bunch of crates with the other gorilla. We kept our heads down until the fight moved on down the street. And that's all I know about the space ape what took your buddy's brain. No fooling. That's all I know. You lie. Hey, Sam, I never lie about my cowardice. I'm really proud of it. <sighs> so now what? One more time. What do you know about my partner's brain? It's like I was telling you. I was giving directions to a confused tourist. Poor fellow was wandering around in so- Where? Shit. Hey, take it easy, big fella. I sent him right over there the way, about two miles. Frankie the Rat helping a tourist? It was absurd. Absurd like Max was, back when he had a brain. So imagine my surprise when I found Frankie's tourist wandering around the bad side of town. guy what's your story Ooh, an american police shakedown how thrilling <laughs> yeah it's a real honor now what do you know well about an hour ago i was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats and frankie sent you here yeah that dirty lion rat you know back in europe i had so many warnings about your country's rats but this frankie was so gracious and helpful Anyhow, I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of a sudden a Weltraum Zauberkrieg erupted in the middle of one of your asphalt fjords. At least I think it was a Weltraum Zauberkrieg. It might have been more of an Ödela Spuk. <coughs> Is that one of your famous American handguns? Fascinating! We don't have any of these in Europe, you know. After the fight moved on, <laughs> I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty handled and ipple skippled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the clothes on my back. And you know what else? I'm starting to think that this isn't actually the museum- What? Ipple skibbled! It's a common European word that describes the feeling of my disorientation combined with nagging doubts about a rat. Honestly, what do they teach you Americans in your schools? Video poker! <laughs> so, what else would you like to know? People in this country are so intense! The tourists seemed like just another victim circle in the drain, but I knew there was more to the story. Gift center. It was time to circle back and flush out the truth. <laughs> Frankie, what do you know? I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah. Poor fella was wandering around in cycles, scaring all the kitties with his... <laughs> hey, man, no need to pull out the heavy metal. I'm talking, see? So, like I was saying, I was almost done helping the guy, see? When BAM! All of a sudden, this space ape comes barreling down the street, fighting with some other mook. A space ape carrying a brain! Skunk ape. I hadn't seen anything that weird since Aunt Jacqueline's vacation slides from Pismo Beach there with the jellyfish on the water skis. <laughs> yeah, the gorilla pulled out his gun, just like that. Anyway, so I grabbed the tourist and we ducked behind a bunch of crates with the other gorilla. We kept our heads down until the fight moved on down the street. And that's all I know about the space ape what took your buddy's brain. No fooling. That's all. Other gorilla? What other gorilla? Believe it or not, it was another space ape. He was spinning a sign for some pet store, the poor schlub. So that dirty punk sign spinner did see Skunk Ape. So now what? Ah! You're welcome.
Now, where's Skunk Ape? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl. That story ain't gonna wash, Bonzo. Your pal Frankie told me all about how you and he hit from a fight between Skunk Ape and some other guy. Now, make with a lip flap and an eye better like what I hear. It's true. A few of your Earth minutes ago, I was spinning my sign for Frankie the Rat and a tourist when General Skunkape came running down the street, chasing after a strangely garbed man. To my everlasting shame, I cowered behind a crate like a common Venusian bonobo. And strangely garbed? Yes, a man in a faded jacket and a strange hat. He seemed to be carrying a box of some sort. General Skunkape was in hot pursuit. <sighs> After the general and the stranger fled the scene, I discovered that he had dropped this. I'm surprised he didn't come back for it, but he appeared to be in something <coughs> Are you trying to threaten me with that? Maybe. You are aware that my ultra-dense space gorilla hide renders me impervious to your puny earth bullets, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Where were we? Give me that toy! No! I need it to get back in General Skunkapi's good graces! Once I return this artifact to the General, he'll forgive my temporary abandonment of his goals and welcome me back to his crew with open arms. Oh, how I've come to miss standing at my General's side these past- Huh. You're fooling yourself, kid. What are you talking about? The only thing Skunk Ape's gonna welcome you with is a fistful of phasers. You can't go home again. You can't even get on the porch. You've tasted the apple, peed in the pool, bit in the hand that rocks the cradle. You're a sign spinner to him now, and that's all you're ever gonna be. You're right. It's hopeless. No matter what I do now, I'll never soar through the galaxy at my general's side ever again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I hate to tell you, but you're not a very good sign spinner either. <laughs> Ouch. I hated to see a grown gorilla cry, so I got in the car and looked for another lost soul to join me as I gazed into the abyss. Finally, a clue. The last time we saw the rhinoplasty toy, Max's special brain used it to turn into a bazooka. Now it was going to lead me to the guy who stole that special brain. It wasn't exactly ironic, but I didn't care. Crime Tron, do your stuff! What do you mean, not found in database? The Crime Tron requires additional clues to make an informed deduction. Clues? I haven't got time for clues. Max's body is starting to smell differently. Then maybe you should stop yelling at my girlfriend and start with the clue hyphen finding. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie lied to me about helping that tourist. I hate it when punks lie to me. Frankie, what do you know? I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah. Poor fellow was wandering around and... Don't lie to me, Frankie. I talked to your tourist, and it looks to me like you sent him over to the wrong side of town to get rolled by your rat pack. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but this conversation is over. I ain't saying nothing till I get some legal representation. Annoy for some people. Tramp. Do you want a lawyer? Here's an attorney from Smith and Wesson. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Sheesh. Like you guessed, I gave the tourist directions to the bad side of town, but I was just winding them up, really. Hey, ask me, the schmuck deserved it. Acting all high and mighty and European. What? You know, the bad side of town. Hoboville, Flemberg, Broken Corners, that area. Hmm. Anyway, when the big fight broke out, me, the tourist, and the other gorilla ducked down behind the crate. And I, uh, picked their pockets. The tourist was loaded with high exchange European stuff, but all the other guy had was funny looking green cute. Other gorilla? What other gorilla? Already Believe it that. or not, it was another spe. Anyway, F. And that's all I know, honest. Ask anybody. Liar! 
No, we're honest. I came right back here. And then you showed up and started slapping me around. Hmm. So now what? Once more, with feeling. If you insist. Like you guessed, I gave the tourists directions to the bad side of town, but I was just winding them up, really. Hey, ask me, the schmuck deserved it. Acting all high and mighty and you- The whole stinking city's wound up. Look, like a- Do you want me to finish my story, or do you want to go off on another depressing tangent? I'm not really sure. <laughs> anyway, when the big fight broke out, me, the tourist, and the other gorilla ducked down behind the crate, and I, uh, picked their pockets. The tourist was loaded with high exchange European stuff, but all the. <laughs> Yipes! Stop doing that! It ain't good for my angina. Anyway, after the fight moved on, the tourist got a nice souvenir for his trouble, and I skedaddled back here. And that's all I know, honest. Ask anybody. Souvenir? Yeah, uh, something fell out of the funny hat guy's pocket, and the tourist scooped it up. What was it? I don't know, it was something. So, the tourists didn't leave empty-handed after all. So what now? Stick around. I may be back. I shall count the minutes. <laughs> Ooh, a repeat performance. Let's run through it one more time, and speak slowly. I'm an American! <laughs> As I said before, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. You know, back in Europe, I heard so many warnings about your country's rats, but this Frankie was so- Hurry it up! I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of a sudden a Weltraum Liebewachtzauberkrieg erupted in the middle of one of your asphalt fjords. At least I think it was a Weltraum Liebewachtzauberkrieg. My- Helps a super color what now? Weltraum Liebewachtzauberkrieg. My people's word for a stunning battle between a strangely garbed man and an alien space gorilla carrying a brain in a jar. <sighs> so, where was I? Oh, yes! After the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty handled and evil skippled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the clothes on my back. You know what else? I'm starting to think that this- Don't play innocent with me, metric lover. The rat saw you pick up something after the fight. Now spill! Yeah, yeah, it's true. I took a souvenir from the fight. I didn't think anyone would notice. Here. Norrington? Who the heck is Norrington? I don't know, I don't know. Just don't hurt me. You Americans are all animals. Animals. <laughs> Norrington. The name rang fewer bells than a sleigh in July. Hopefully, it would be enough. Okay, Karantron, this is your last chance before I start looking for an upgrade. Come on, you obsolete hunk of junk. Talk! We're Skunk Ape! Sam, no! Stop <laughs> holding out on me! Get away from her, you brute. Mostly natural history. <laughs> <clears throat> Finally. Audiences across the country say, You're a monster, Sam! What have you become? The Museum of Mostly Natural History, the tarnished jewel of the city's once thriving museum district. Max <laughs> and I always meant to visit, but we'd never gotten around to it. Now we were That's finally going to take in its thrilling and dubious educational displays with a vengeance. Skunk Ape, it's time to pay the piper. 
plus tax and applicable service fees. Take a look around after I track down Max's brain. Razor Light Show, Friday nights in the planetarium. Come, come on. Grandson of the Podrun who put the kibosh on my intricate plan to unleash Yog Sagoth and take over the world? I hate that guy. I hate that guy! Yes, yes! A common enemy. I propose an alliance. You get the galaxy, I get the Earth? Agreed! Nice going, Bubble Brain. Don't blame me. I'm still trying to find the volume controls on this thing. Minions, after him! Sam? Ah, oh, man! Now I'm stuck in here with the alliance of C-list supervillains. Ah, it was way more fun when they were fighting. <laughs> Look at all those cool psychic toys! Am I doing that? Indeed, yes. Your psychic brain, melded to Monsieur Paperweight Sorcery and my super science, have created a techno-arcanic whirlpool, drawing the toys to this convenient container. So that explains the giant sucking sound in my head! <laughs> no, that's just you. Hey bad guys, how about a little light show? It's getting boring in here. I'm afraid that tonight's performance of Mundane Objects in Space, A Cosmic Odyssey, has been cancelled, so that the Yeneler and I might use the projector to summon the scattered psychic toys from the four corners of the globe. Ah. Hey you! Fez guy! What is it? How come you haven't aged a day since my great-grandpa kicked your demon-summoning butt back in the olden times? The horrible secret of my apparent immortality is too terrible to comprehend, and would surely drive an uninitiated mind such as yours to the brink of madness were I to utter it. So, Pilates then? <laughs> what are you doing in this two-bit museum anyway? Since my defeat at the hands of your meddling ancestors, I've insinuated myself into the archaeological community, painstakingly gathering the requisite toys of power necessary to reopen a doorway between our world and the realm of Yogg-Sagoth. Nerd. Why are you and that big dumb ape skunk ape working together? General Skunkape and I have had a meeting of minds over our mutual loathing of you, your partner, and your forefathers. So that added up to what? One mind between you? I <laughs> just hope his brain-dead minions can dispose of your partner without injuring any of my employees. Pretty grubby joint you got here. It's one of the finest collections in the world. Our Yogg-Sogoth tapestry is one of a kind. Gee, it'd be a shame if Skunk Ape's minions ripped your tapestry to shreds and used it for space towelettes. You know, accidentally. Yeah, don't even think of such a thing! <laughs> You're a magical mumbo-jumbo guy, so maybe you can tell me. What's the deal with me having psychic powers all of a sudden? Am I going through... the change? It's difficult to say. 
The only minds on this plane capable of wielding the toys of power are the insane, the simple, or the defective. Ah, you've been reading my press, kid. But encountering two special brains in the same bloodline is practically unheard of. Your lineage is most peculiar and dangerous. You should see us during holiday cookouts. Could you try and stop your new buddy from zapping Sam with a banana-shaped ray gun or whatever? Why should I give a hell beast's hangnail about the fate of Sameth's brood? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> Let me get back to you on that. What are you and Corporal Buttcheeks here doing with the Devil's Toy Box anyway? We're unwinding and rewiring the synapses of your brain to cast a blasphemous net of tech necromancy across the reality so that the toys of power may be properly encased within the Devil's Toy Box. <coughs> ah, that's about what I thought. Really? Repeat what I just said. Blah, blah, blah. I've got a wonderful brain! Blarky, blarky. More toys for me! Oh, this talking with my brain is making me tired. Let's talk later. <laughs> What's that for? That controls our new laser light show. It will bring many, many young people to the museum. If you can lure them away from their zoetropes. Is that an espresso machine? Because I've always wanted to pour caffeine directly into my brain. Oh, gosh. This device is used to maintain the complex matrix of energies between the Devil's Toy Box, your magnificent brain, and Paperweight's chaos magic, and funnel them into the planetarium's crude projector. Fascinating. Now tell me more about my magnificent brain! Hey, Skunky! Yes? So, long time no see. Long time? <laughs> yes, yes. If only you knew how long. It has been but a handful of Earth hours since you and your companion imprisoned me in the penal zone. <laughs> However, due to the temporal phase shifting of the zone, I experienced years of maddening nothingness during those fleeting hours. Ah, that would explain the tiny crow's feet around the eyes. Not to mention that telltale old gorilla smell. What are you doing here, anyway? The same thing I was doing all those years ago. Boring me to tears? Gathering the toys of power so that I might conquer the galaxy! Why are you working with that creepy paperweight guy? Monsieur Paperweight and I have reached an accommodation. Is that legally permitted in this state? I'm lending my scientific prowess to his mystical efforts to draw the toys of power into the so-called Devil's Toy Box. That spell thing Paperweight's working on, it wouldn't have something to do with summoning an elder god by the name of Yog sagoth would it? Now that you mention it, Yog sagoths name did come up once or twice. He's certainly touchy about that precious tapestry of his. Yes. I see you've got your old band of lackeys back together. Yes, yes. My mighty army is once again ready to take on the galaxy. <clears throat> At least they would be if Paperweight's filthy security guard wasn't underfoot. That disease-carrying insect had better keep his pestilent thorax away from my boys. Now that you and Fezhead have stopped fighting, could you tell me how my brain ended up outside my sexy little body? I took it from you after I was suddenly ejected from the penal zone. How come I didn't notice? You appeared to be entranced by a primitive form of Earth entertainment. Around here, we call it a popcorn coma, big guy. What are you planning to do with my brain once this whole Toys for Jerks drive is over? The same thing I planned to do before you yanked me into your ASAT's penal zone. Plug your brain into my ship's central computer and use your terrifying psychic powers to conquer the galaxy. Couldn't we just use them to cruise for chicks? The ladies love a good spoon bending. That's curious. My scans indicate you don't even like girls. Could you try not to kill Sam? He's my designated driver whenever I'm in the sauce like this. Oh, my minions won't kill him. That's good. 
They are under strict orders to drag him beaten and bloodied to my feet, so that he might witness my ascension to ruler of the galaxy. Just so long as he can still drive. <laughs> what are you two scamps doing with the devil's toy box? We're tapping the nigh infinite power of your brain to create a bifurcated vortex of technological and arcane energies to impel the toys of power to return to their point of origin via a five-dimensional matrix of quantum foam and sympathetic magics. Yes, of course! You have no idea what I just said, do you? No, but if it means more psychic toys for me, then vortex away! Uh, could you go over there for a while? The way you're salivating over my anterior cortex is creeping me out, frankly. Very well. These two goofs are about as entertaining as public radio. Oh, I sure hope Sam survived the attack of the minions. I've got a lot of complaining to do. Well, at least I know that Max's brain is still alive and kicking. I'll never get back in there while Skunk Ape and Paperweight are working together. Maybe I can break up those lovebirds from out here. Somehow I doubt they're gonna lure in the jaded thugs of today with laser light shows. Not enough despinings to hold a young person's attention. That's interesting. Holy Oak, Massachusetts. If I remember my field guide for otherworldly incursions correctly, that tentacle's a flagellum from the Dark Dimension. Although the Hindenburg met its fiery demise in 1937, its sister ship, the Aeroschwein, is still in operation today and was a stunt double in the 1968 musical Let's All Go for a Ride in My Beautiful Balloon. So that's where that song came from. Coming soon, a brief history of bad ideas in transportation. I hope Max's brain and body are reunited by the time this exhibit opens. He loves tooling around in comically unviable vehicles. Good thing Max isn't here. Edutainment sends him into an atavistic rage. Hey, you. Who, me? Don't get kid with me, wise guy. What are you doing in the museum after dark? I'm Sam. I'm with the Freelance Police. Freelance Police, eh? I heard a lot about you guys. A lot. I'm Sal, museum's security guard. You must be looking into all the freaky shenanigans going on around here tonight, huh? Yeah. Well, feel free to poke around. But right now, you gotta do something about this pile of trash. That's not trash. That's my partner. Partner, trash, potato, potato. If it's not up and moving in the next few minutes, I'm tossing that smelly lump of guts into the incinerator. Incinerator? Yeesh. That fellow reminds me of my great granduncle Eustatius. To witness the final stage of the coming apocalypse, turn the hourglass. Okay... Whoa, I did not see that coming. It's a telltale trail of Grandpa Stinky's brain-preserving demon broth. <sighs> Toxic adendron paleness, a prehistoric and virulent form of poison ivy, was seven times as irritating as its modern counterpart. 
primitive life forms were often driven into fits of howling, scratching rage by the merest sampling of T. paleness's secretions. It's hard to believe something that pretty could be so annoying. The Osmunda Kincadium, aka the Boring Fern, possessed no interesting qualities whatsoever. That's not nice. I'm sure it was very interesting once you got to know it. Okay. Inexplicable object of unknown provenance. Hey, it's a Moai head! How's it hanging, big guy? Fine, be that way. <laughs> Tapestry of Yog Sagoth, overfiend of the dank dimensions, on loan from the East Village chapter of the Knights of Yog Sagoth. He doesn't look so tough. Can't even see it. Behold, the dread wonder of Yog Sagoth, overfiend of the dark dimension. Yeah. I'm glad my great-grandpa stopped that trans-dimensional beauty from manifesting in the east side. <laughs> Behold, the dread wonder of you. Creepy. It's a good thing our forefathers kept this guy from schlepping into our dimension, or we'd probably be seeing that on our currency by now. Museum of Mostly Natural History Guided Tour. Ah, an audio guide that attempts to make sense of the nonsensical museum displays. I should tape one of these for our office. Huh. It says it's an information desk, but I feel dumber just looking at it. It's too bad Max's mighty psychic brain isn't here. There's all sorts of new phone numbers on this courtesy phone. This little device is used to guide clueless visitors through the museum's self-guided tour. Welcome to the Museum of Mostly Natural History. My name is Anton Pepperwit, and I'll be your narrator on this self-guided tour today. Let us begin. Please make your way to the Melozoic Era exhibit in the center of the main floor. Although it lasted for only seven weeks during the late summer of 56 million BC, the Melozoic Era produced an incredible explosion of evolutionary diversity, most of which was quickly erased by less ridiculous creatures. <laughs> Gently yank the bone to hear the roar of the Poyosaurus Henway. Poyosaurus Henway. Nah. Earth Dog Man, where do you think you're going? I'm uh, just looking for the snack foods exhibit. No one leaves here. It's Goncape's orders. Why? We're supposed to be on the lookout for uh, Sam. That's it, Sam. Uh, are you Sam? No, my name is uh, Tyrone. Sam's that guy. Tis we! I've arrived at the world famous Museum of Mostly Natural History! And look! A cute little animatronic monkey! <laughs> oh gosh! Mahilidus Gunkape, I've successfully neutralized the one known as Sam. Yes? Describe him. Pink, hairless, difficult to place accent. That's not Sam, you fool! Now don't bother me again until you find Sam! Apparently that, uh, wasn't Sam. Oh well. Uh, happy honey. Thank you, Tyrone. <laughs> hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. Right. I'll just let you get back to that. 
Eucalyptus porcus, the long extinct bacon plant, was the evolutionary forerunner of today's domesticated swine. I don't think evolution works that way, but I kind of wish it did. <laughs> has long pondered about the eventual fate of the Earth. Today, thanks to sophisticated supercomputers, scientists have determined that the world will end in the year 2015, as giant monsters, environmental disasters, and political apathy combine to turn our world into an unlivable hellhole shortly before the sun unexpectedly goes nova. Okay. Turn the hourglass to witness the Earth's final moments, as predicted by accredited apocalypticians. Please proceed to the treasures of the Forgotten Pharaoh exhibit. Sal! Keep it down, will ya? This is a museum, not a locker room. Sal, why is that name so familiar? Wait a minute. Stinkies used to have a fry cook named Sal. Yep, that'd be me. A six foot tall cockroach working at Stinkies? That's shocking! No, wait, what's that thing that's the complete opposite of shocking? <laughs> so, why did Grandpa Stinky fire you? I mean, aside from the whole disease carrying vermin thing. He, uh, didn't approve of a cockroach in the kitchen. That's strange. Grandpa Stinky never had problems with cockroaches before. Don't look now, but there's a scandalously clad intergalactic despot running roughshod through your museum. You mean General Skunkape? He's an A1 buttwad, all right. But what are you gonna do? Mr. Paperweight's rolled out the red carpet for him and his minions. Don't you think you should alert the authorities? What? Lose my job? How's life with Skunk Ape? Skunk Ape? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that. Not so bad. Aside from the big gorilla over there guarding the door, most of these apes just hang out in the planetarium. What's with all the apes running around? Beats me. Mr. Paperweight told me to steer clear of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Would you mind not throwing my little buddy into the museum's incinerator? Who can do, Sam? If Mr. P finds another corpse strewn about all willy-nilly on the exhibit floor, he's gonna kick my thorax right to the unemployment office. You say your friend's still alive? You better get him moving. Would you mind not throwing my little buddy into the museum's incinerator? Who can do, Sam? If Mr. P finds another corpse strewn about all willy-nilly on the... You say your friend's still alive? You better get him moving. But he hasn't got a brain. Well, maybe you should find him a new one. Sheesh. Some detective you are. <laughs> Any idea what that paperweight loser is doing in the planetarium? Hey, don't be calling Mr. Paperweight a loser. He's a stand-up guy who took me in and gave me a job. He's not here, you know. Nah, I got no idea what that loser's up to. Heck, I can't even understand half the things he tells me over the headphones. Your boss is gathering demonic toys for a nefarious purpose. Toys, eh? What do you want me to do about it? Call the army, the navy, the Swiss guard. You want me to turn on my boss? Dream on, buddy. This is a pretty cushy job here. And I ain't messing it up over a bunch of demonic toys. Nice headphones. Listening to the game? Or maybe some Black Flag? No, these are my official museum guard emergency headphones. I gotta wear these so that Mr. Paperweight can tell me where to go in case of a security emergency. Of course, I haven't heard from him in a while. You must be busy up there with that space gorilla guy. See ya, Sal. Be careful out there, Sam. This place is cuckoo tonight. Let us begin. Please make your way to the Melozoic Era exhibit in the center of the main floor.
This decorative urn contains the preserved brain of the forgotten pharaoh, an obscure and unknown pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Little is known of this pharaoh's brief reign, aside from a few unflattering sculptures and a smattering of bad poems. The anonymous pharaoh's reign came to a sudden end when a band of rebels succeeded in fomenting a populist uprising. Normally, the code of the freelance policeman frowns on stealing ancient brains, but desperate times call for icky measures. Ew, it's warm and pulsing and wriggly. I don't know whether to be repulsed or use it as a neck massager. <laughs> it's still got that old brain smell. The seven-sided pyramid of Hikaba was the crowning glory of Kestimpum the Tiny until it collapsed under its staggering weight and unorthodox design. It's dioramas like this that make me appreciate the joys of central air conditioning, collective bargaining, and comfortable headwear. <laughs> No idea ancient Egypt was so madcap. If you're going to putrefy and decompose, you might as well do it in style. Hey, it's me. Give or take 4,000 years and a decent tailor. Ooh, pointy and dangerous. Two of my favorite things. Max would love to get his hands on this doohickey. Too bad he doesn't have any hands right now. Ancient Egyptian brain screw. The engravings on this particular brain screw indicate that it was reserved for pharaohs, viziers, or other high-ranking muckety-mucks. Muckety-mucks? The museum's copywriter must have thought no one would read that far. Yeah. Ah, the sphinx. I can almost smell it. Seriously, it smells like aspen here. It's too bad Max's mighty psychic brain isn't here. There's all sorts of new phone numbers on this courtesy phone. The museum is proud to have recently obtained the preserved remains of the mysterious forgotten pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. And finally, the pride of the museum. Please proceed to the Knights of yogg Sogoth display. The Order of yogg Sogoth were an ancient society of mystic knights dedicated to serving an overfiend of the Dark Dimension. This priceless tapestry, woven from the meticulously groomed back hair of the knights, is all that remains of their order. Well... To see the terrifying power of the yogg Sogoth tapestry, pull the sword from the eyeball. I could learn a lot from this, if I wasn't so offended by the choice of fonts. I'd better find a way to get Max's body moving before Sal chucks it into an incinerator. Maybe this carefully preserved gray matter will get Max's body moving, or at least twitching and drooling unnervingly. Hello? Anybody in there? Nah, but I get that a lot. I'm Sam. Oh, my! A new body! And it's so energetic! That's probably one of Max's sugar rushes. You'll just want to ride him out until you get used to him. <laughs> well, I suppose you want some sort of tedious boon in return for rescuing our spirit from the shadowy realms, yes? Well, if it's not too much trouble, Your Majesty, I could use some help retrieving Max's brain from a couple of world-conquering Nimrods. I believe we can aid you in your quest, but where will my brain go after we've restored this Max? Hmm. 
Well, if everything goes as planned, I suppose you can take your pick between an ethnic sorcerer and a super-powered space gorilla. A gorilla? <gasps> that does sound promising. Very well, we shall grant your boon. It shouldn't be too much trouble with all these toys of the gods secreted in this fuzzy little body. Toys of the gods? Do you have the gift? Is that what they're calling it these days? My people always called it the Curse of Horus. Ungrateful wretches. Neat. If you've got creepy brain powers, this rescue's gonna be a walk in the park. Ready to roll? Lead on, barbarian. Ah, oh, the arrow of power. But where's the disc of madness? Or the orb of unending bounciness? Yeah, haven't found them yet. But here, take a gander at this. Ah, oh, the wondrous essence thief! How well I remember disguising myself as a palm frond to observe the forbidden rituals at the Temple of Adolescence. You tyrannical scamp. Future vision. Hey Max, check this out. It turns out that Lady Godiva was a dude. Ooh, icky. Well, either I managed to return Max's brain to his body in the future, or you're destined to learn a killer Max impression. Let's move on. What in the name of Gorgar? In my experience, it's rarely a good idea to poke a space gorilla in the eyes. That's what lackeys are for, Sam. Hey! Ouch! My thorax! My beautiful thorax! Ouch! Who'd want to pummel a nice bug guy like Sal? Hey Sal, look! Three monkeys violating that statue of a head! Where? I didn't see nothing. Which is a good thing, since we put all the monkeys down in storage with the leather jackets. Oops. Welcome to the Museum of Mostly Natural History. Mr. Paperweight. Gee, thanks. That's the nicest thing you've said since you hired me. <clears throat> so, uh, what can I do for you, boss? Let us begin. Please make your way to the Melozoic Era exhibit in the center of the main floor. The dinosaur exhibit. You got it. Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization bring to life. I'd poke its eyes, boss, but I can't reach it. Anything else, boss? Finally, the pride of the museum. Please proceed to the Knights of Yog Sagoth display. Knights of Yog Sagoth exhibit? Right away, sir. Boss? Well, if you don't have anything else for me, I'll just head back to the base. Begin. Please make your way to the Melozoic Era ex Gently yank the bone to hear the roar of the Poyosaurus Henway. Yank the bone. You got it. Yo! Looks like everything's working A-OK, -okay, boss. Anything else, boss? Although it lasted for only seven weeks during the late... I did not know that. Thanks, boss. Anything else, boss? Humanity has long pondered about the eventual... Yeah, yeah, boss. Very informative. Anything else, boss? Turn the hourglass to witness the Earth's final moments as... Pre uh, boss? There ain't no hourglass here. Anything else, boss? And finally, the pride of please pro Knights of Yog Sagoth exhibit? Right away, sir. 
you see the terrifying power of the Yog Sogoth tapestry, pull the sword from the eyeball. Pull the sword? Will do, boss. <sighs> Looks okay to me. Anything else, boss? to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. I don't see any eyes to poke around here, boss. Anything else, boss? Mm. Let us please... Because he's not close enough? Now, poke the eyes. I'd poke its eyes, boss, but I can't reach it. Anything else, boss? The museum is proud to have recently obtained the preserved remains of the mystic. That's great, boss. But what do you want me to do now? Anything else, boss? The Order of Yog Sagoth were an ancient. So That's really illuminating. Anything else? I'll head back to. The curious communication devices in this museum look fascinating. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. Ooh, he's a smart one, isn't he? Who is this annoying Cretan? Are you Sam? We are the Pharaoh, you odiferous primate. And you would do well to kneel in our presence. How about I make you dance instead? Tra -la -la. I'm rather enjoying this. Beast couldn't hit the side of a granary with a throw. Can't you see we're busy? Oh, this is too easy. Oh. La -la -la. That's enough playtime for now. I'm sure that will be useful. Majesty, check out these spiffy phone numbers. Phone numbers? Ah, hieroglyphics to activate the translocation toy. We always wondered how that device worked. It probably would have helped if the ancient astronauts who taught you how to build pyramids had left behind a few telephones. Say, one of those phone numbers is brand new. This is Paperweight's office. What a dump! Someone's coming. Why have you left the planetarium? That intergalactic bully is driving me bananas! And his minions are a threat to my beautiful museum! Can't you do something? Get a grip on yourself, man! 
Can't you see our long struggle to gather the toys is almost over? You think I don't know that? I've been dreaming of this second chance for decades! Then stop whining and get back in there! Yes, sir, Dr. Norrington. Right away, Dr. Norrington. Norrington. His imperious attitude puts me in mind of a loot teacher we fed to my crocodiles for correcting my divine embouchure. You know, Max's patter is a lot less... Violent. Multisyllabic. <laughs> Four ancient diabolical summoning spells. And one pretty good chili recipe. This office could use a little tidying up, and a good firm raising. Paperweight's phone. We've got his number. Oh, we certainly do. Check it out, Your Majesty. An insanely detailed top-down drawing of the city. What a remarkable illusion of depth. Oh yeah, you didn't have perspective and vanishing points in your time, did you? Of course we did! Why, we had a whole chamber full of perspectives, and a headdress adorned with vanishing points, and, and... Shut up! <laughs> Paperweight. This office could use a little tidying up, and a good firm raising. That transportation exhibit is bound to be fascinating. We enjoy reveling in the failures of lesser beings. Looks like Paperweight subscribes to Obazoth's nonsensical Grimoire Club. Teleportation. Coming soon, a brief history of bad ideas. Rhinoplasty. Whee! Be careful, Your Highness. You're full of hydrogen and dangerously unstable. Oh, lighten up. I have. Whee! Could you move just a little bit to the left, Your Majesty? Why? No reason. Whee! Oh, the subhumanity. That was really quite exhilarating. You're welcome. Now never do it again. No problem. Whoops. Let go of me, commoner! Shh! Who is making all that infernal racket? Yaxagoth! No! Uh, Never place your hands on our divine personage! Lighten up, Your Majesty. I think we're about to see some fireworks. Skunkape! What? One of your ignorant minions has destroyed the museum's priceless Yaxagoth tapestry! Oh, really? Ahila! Yes, sir. Did any of you destroy Mr. Paperweight's precious tapestry? No, sir. I believe you owe me an apology, partner. You're right. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Sorry, your minions are trigger-happy Neanderthals. <laughs> I can't believe I have allied myself to a sniveling irritant like you. Irritant? Do you think I enjoy having my schemes yoked to an uncouth, half-naked space fascist who can't even capture a six-foot-tall dog in a suit? I assume you can do better, you half-witted conjurer? Watch me. <laughs> nice simmering. One more unfortunate misunderstanding should be enough to push Tom and Nicole here straight into supervillain divorce court.
Looks like Max is stoking the fires of Discord. I'll see if I can add some fuel from out here. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyre. Ta. The end of the world. Ignorant the end what? of the world is predicted by top apocalypsologists. Ignorant peasants. Everyone knows that the world will face its demise when Hathor begins wading in the blood of the heretics, only to be tricked by Ra into drinking a tainted vessel of barley beer to defeat him. What? Wait, is that the movie that has everyone dancing on the golf course at the end? Gorilla shooting at royalty. How amazing! We've been transmogrified into a glittering futuristic metropolis. Why do we feel like we're about to vomit? That'd be the East River. Try to breathe through your mouth. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. <laughs> Please make your way to the animatron of the terrible beast assaulting the city. The beast attacking the city. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Poke its eyes. Really? Oh well, you're the boss. What in the name of Gorgar? Uh, what should I do now, boss? Hey! Ouch! My thorax! My beautiful thorax! By the under realms of Embo, what is going on out here? <laughs> I kind of hated doing that to poor Sal. Yes, most unfortunate. Beetles are sacred in my culture. Actually, I think he's a cockroach. Really? Then let him rot. General Skunkape! What? I would very much appreciate it if your minions would refrain from manhandling my employees. And I would appreciate it if you stopped using specious words like manhandling. Oh, take it like a man, you big ape! That's it! I've had it up to here with your incessant, petulant whining! Petulant? Well, I've had it up to here with your imperious attitude and your odiferous banana breath! Banana <laughs> breath? Banana breath? This alliance is over! So be it! 
It warms my heart to see these two fighting again. At least I think it does. Sam better come get me before these two losers knock over my jar, or worse, kiss and make up! <laughs> We hear your majesty. This move's gonna require some sneakiness, and that body you're wearing isn't really known for its stealth. Very well. Resistance is pointless, Terran flea! <laughs> Eat my primordial wrath, monkey boy! Sam! <laughs> mm. It's about time. I would've been here two or three explosions ago if someone I know had the slightest bit of impulse control. Hey, my body's walking around without my brain! How'd you work that out? I found a loner in the creepy Egyptian exhibit. Nice kid, but a little bit of an attitude. Now let's get out of here before Goofus and Gallant figure out that we've played them for chumps. Come on, Highness. Your Majesty? The toy box! It's mine again! The box! Stick the brain of a psychically gifted, unstable adolescent pharaoh in my cute little body, did you? Uh, maybe. That is so cool! Must resist. Norrington, help me! By Hammer of Patal, the hairballs of Bastard, and the hangnails of Anubis, reality itself will kneel before! Maybe we should be leaving. You think? And so ends another mind-boggling mystery solved by the loping wits and the capriciously applied violence of the freelance police. Who's up for a sugar grenade? What the hell are you talking about, Sam? I'm still a brain in a jar! Don't be silly, Max. You've always been a brain in a jar. No, I haven't. I'm a short, sexy lagomorph with an enormous mouth and dead, shark-like eyes. Hold that thought, little buddy. We've got some idolizing to do. Say what? Salmon Mac is handsome! Salmon Mac is cute! When, when we, we think of Salmon, Salmon Mac, we, we give, give a big salute. salute! Oh, you have got to be kidding! Attention, everyone! From this point forward, those little things at the ends of your shoelaces. Aglets? Yes! Aglets are hereby decreed to be the most horrible things in all the world! It's a good thing I don't wear shoes. Sam, snap out of it! Snap out of what? Ah! Just get me out of here! I gotta find my body! Mista card, the last more or less honest credit card. Normally I'd be leery of a pizza franchise expanding into the credit market, but if their loan rates are as stingy as their toppings, then sign me up! It's a lot of corn dogs. Catering to Lords... can I read that? Our Lord Salmon Max sure loves his corn dogs. Most likely 100% beef. One narrow street, new Luxor, Salmon Machia East. Hey, Stinky! How's it shaking? Oh joy, it's Chico and the man. Can we just cut to the chase? I've got important Salmon Mac business to attend to. What are you doing out here? <laughs> what does it look like? I'm helping Grandpa Stinky load another metric barge load of corn dogs to Lord Salmon Max. Never ending buffet table over at the planetarium. That's funny. It looks like you're texting your boyfriend. Boyfriend? Who said I had a boyfriend? I'm saving myself for Lord Salmon Mac. Isn't he like, uh, ten? Now, but in a few years. So, who are you texting? I'm, uh, handling all the logistics of the buffet. Seems kind of cruel to let your grandpa do all the heavy lifting. Oh, uh, he insisted. No, I didn't! <laughs> grandpa Stinky's looking relatively upbeat today. Insufferable, isn't it? Ever since he got that medallion of tithing, he's been running around like his broccoli doesn't smell. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute! 
Lord Salmon Max sure is swell, isn't he? Oh, I know. And so powerful. Oh, and wealthy. And powerful. You said powerful twice. What can I say? I like power. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. Oh, come on, guys. Grow some basal ganglia. You look uh, busy, so we'll let you get back to your uh, work. It's been great, guys. Let's do this again real soon. Oh, that body snatching pharaoh even bamboozled the stinkies? What good is bitter narcissism if it can't protect you from mind control? Our Lord Salmon Max sure loves it. Well, that was an interesting shortcut. <laughs> Look, these grotty little mole people have made a primitive mosaic of Lord Salmon Mac. That's me, Sam! I think it's cute that you maintain such a positive self-image, Max. Hey, mole cultists. How's it going? Uh, okay. Please don't snarl at us again. Why would I do that? I've got Max's brain back, and everything's right with the world. Right. What are you guys up to on this fine Salmon Mac created day? Something Mole Manny, I bet? Oh, nothing, really. We were guarding something, but it's gone now, and we couldn't be happier. <laughs> oh, yeah, I vaguely remember something about that. What was that again? Nothing important. Certainly not a toy box of unspeakable reality-altering power or anything. Okay. <laughs> Want any help with that missing artifact that I can't quite remember? Nah, we're good. Don't give it a second thought. <laughs> Lord Salmon Max sure is nifty, isn't he? Yes, wonderful guy. He's a peach, all right. <laughs> I can't imagine why anyone would ever rebel against him. No, sir. <laughs> Ow! Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of, of Salmon, Salmon Mac, Mac, we give, we a, give big a big salute. salute. That's an unusual salute you got there. What? Uh, uh, no, it isn't. I don't know why I'm asking you gals, but do you know anything about making bodies for disembodied brains? Max here is getting really antsy without one. The brain without a head! Deliverance is at hand! Hey, a simple no would be sufficient. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The, the brilliance, brilliance of, of Lord, Lord Salmon, Salmon, Salmon Mac is more than, is we, more can than we can stand. Hang loose, guys. Hail Salmon Mac and all that. Yes, hail him. It looks like something's supposed to be there. Yeah, the Devil's Toy Box. Don't you remember? You mean Salmon Mac's box of power? Don't be a doof, Max. He's had that thing for thousands of years. Someday we should get around to properly burying Samoth and Maximus. Stinky! What do you want, you shiftless tabron and losers? Can't you see I'm doing the Lord's work here? This will only take a minute. That's what you always say before you drag me into your little schemes. <laughs> I see you brought out your catering truck for another delivery to our magnificent potentate. Aye, Lord Salmon Mac can't get enough of my special corn dogs with their secret blend of herbs. Spices and insect viscera. I want one now! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Down you! These corn dogs are going straight to the old king's never-ending buffet table at the planetarium. Besides, Max, you don't even have a mouth or a digestive system. What would you want with a corn dog? So, you'll be heading off to the planetarium soon to bathe in the glow of Sam and Max praise? Ah, 
I, if I can ever get my lazy, good-for-nothing granddaughter to quit messing with her cell phone! Oh, <laughs> I'm just, um, clearing up a few details with Salmon Max High Vizier, Grandpa. Sure you are. You see what I have to put up with? That's why we never work with family members. Especially yeah. after that time with Cousin Lucretia. Ugh. How are you and girl Stinky getting along? Why don't you go ask her yourself? It's not as though she's doing anything else right now. She just spends all her time texting people. Never lifting a finger to help our poor old grandpa. It's nice to see your familial bonds are as strong as ever in this cruddy new world. What in the name of Sobek Scrotum is he on about? Beats me. I think he's just having one of his episodes. Well, you look busy. Noticed that, did ye? Oops. So bye -bye. we'll be on our way. What? No riddles? No discursive queries into the secret ingredients of my mysterious menu items? We're between cases. Yo, Stinky! Ah, again with the interruptions. Lord Salmon Mac won't be happy if I'm late, you know. Who's girl Stinky texting, anyway? She says she's organizing the buffet over at the planetarium, but I think she's just chatting up her new boyfriend. A boyfriend? Stinky? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Oh, man, I needed that. Oh, if I had a nose, I would have horked milk out of it. <laughs> but seriously, Grandpa... Salmon Max sure is swell, isn't he? Oh, that he is, lad. Why, just last night, there was this tremendous storm over the city, causing my knees to seize up something fierce. Ah, I used to have an elbow like that. Back when I had elbows. Shush you. So I brought a gift to the local Salmon Mac offering depository, dropped it off with a little prayer, and hoot, the skies cleared up the next morning, and my knees are fine. Praise Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah, because storms never end on their own. It must have been Sam and Mac that did it. Max, are you blaspheming the name of Sam and Mac, you squashy little nobody? No way, Grandpa Stinky. Max is cool, aren't you? Hail Sam and Mac. That's bitter. So Sam and Mac really changed the weather for you? That's incredible. Some might say unbelievable. Aye, and it's a good thing, too. When those low-pressure systems roll in, my knees seize up like burnt tapioca. Hey, you've got an unholy knack with meats and organs. Any chance you can whip up a body for Max? Well, I have been noodling with a recipe for a golem made of hummus. <laughs> Ugh, no! Never mind. Suit yourself. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of, of Salmon, Salmon Mac, Mac, we, we give, give a, big, a salute. big salute! You look different today, Stinky. Do you think? It's the glazed-over mask of idolatry, Sam. No, no, it's that. Ooh, snazzy! Did you get that at the Ren Fair? Ren Fair! This is the medallion of tithing, given to me by Lord Salmon Mac for offering him a one-of-a-kind gift that was most pleasing to his omniscient eye. What'd you give him? Some yak hair pants. They were the only ones in the world. I'm jealous. You should be. If I can scrape up a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be sitting at the right hand of Lord Salmon Mac himself. All you had to do to get that accessory of privilege was give Lord Salmon Mac a present? Aye, but only a one-of-a-kind gift. That's his most precious thing in the whole wide world. Well, that's tricky. The Pharaoh's a bit, uh, whimsical. Tell me about it. I never can tell what sort of exotic toppings he's gonna want on these infernal corn dogs. See ya, Stinky. I can hardly wait. Stinkies, maker of Lord Salmon Mac's favorite corn dogs. Of course they're his favorites. He's licking them with my taste buds. Stinkies is packed with crates of corn dogs for Salmon Mac's endless feast.
so wow it is. Impressively grandiose monument to Salmon Mac the Great, erected by his gratefully besotted subjects, October 10th, 1791. Oh, now I know that's wrong, Sam. Bosco's was standing here right up until this morning. Bosco never existed, little buddy. And neither did Mama Bosco. <laughs> Yet he knows the names. What's that? Wow, that last case must have pranked your frontal cortex more than usual, Max. That's one of Sam and Max's fabulous animatronic auto idols. The Boy King uses them to receive praise, address the masses, and keep an eye out for nasty heretics. Why does it look like me? Don't be blasphemous, little pal. It looks like Sam and Mac. Ooh, we're about to be addressed. Sam and Mac is mighty. Sam and Mac is grand. The brilliance the of brilliance Lord, Lord, Lord Sam and Mac more is more than we can stand. Hello everyone, it's me, Samuel Mac, Pharaoh of Pharaohs, ruler of reality here. I just wanted to say that I hereby decree that Aglis are now the most wonderful thing in the whole world. Carry on. Darn, no Aglets. If I had some, I would have given them to him. <laughs> Max, beware. Who said that? Who said what? Hold on, Sam. I think I'm getting a call from a new psychic friend. Well played, Max. Sam must suspect nothing. Only you can untangle the twisted reality woven by Samun Mac. Me? Oh, there's a great plan. What am I gonna do, leak all over him? Make contact with the rebels. They will give you the tools you need. Um, I don't see any rebels. You will know them by their backhanded salute. Now, I must leave before I am discovered. Good luck, Max. We're all counting on you. Who are you, anyway? You may call me Dr. Norrington. So, what now, little buddy? What about, oh, I don't know, getting my body back? I keep telling you, Max, you've never had a body. All right, fine. Let's go find someone with a backhanded salute. What for? For the thrill of it! Hey, Sam! Hey, let's... Will do. Hail, Sam and Mac! Hail, Sam and Mac! Where would you like to go today, Sam? Perhaps you'd like to give a gift to Lord Sam and Mac. Or maybe make a visit to Sam and Mac's planetarium throne room to bask in his glory. Or maybe you'd just like to cruise around the city taking in the wonders that Lord Sam and Mac has bestowed on us. Those all sound swell, guys, but I think I'll let Max pick the destination today. He's in a bit of a funk. You know who could fix that? Sam and Mac. Vault, Frankie the Rat. He's... <laughs> Plotting revolution can't be easy with all the creepy statues around. Why would anyone want to plot revolution? No reason. Ooh, that's brutal. When your toaster's gone kapert, bring it down to Radio Yurt. Nicky may charge an arm and a leg, but at least his poetry sucks. Get me out of here, Sam! Holy mother of Sam and Mac dancing the karaoke with the priests of Bast. What was that? I think they were dial-up modems. Hold me! Right in the Labanza! Frankie. Ah, jeez, as if I don't have enough trouble today. Now I gotta deal with the freaking freelance police. Beat it, coppers. Yeah, let us fleece our cousin in peace. Do my not ears deceive me, or are those rats mouthing off to us? I believe they are, Max. Shall we make a lesson of them? I believe we shall. Now be nice while we talk to your cousin. What sort of low-rent criminal shenanigans are you and your Ken perpetrating out here? 
And please keep in mind that I can see the future, so I'll know if we'll be slapping you around for lying to us later on. Hey, there's nothing illegal going on here, honest. Me and my cousins were just engaging in a little friendly wagering over Samu Max, uh, what you call it, uh, gladiatorial bouts. Really? Yeah. Uh, of course we don't actually bet on who wins or loses. That Skunkape gorilla is impossible to beat. Uh, so we bet on what the general's finishing move's gonna be. Finishing move? <laughs> How 90s. When General Skunkape finishes off an opponent, he'll use one of his six signature moves to do the deed. Before each fight, we make bets on which one it's gonna be. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor the little rat guy, Max. Could you run through this whole gladiatorial gambling thing again? You probably couldn't tell, but I was asleep the last time. Sure, sure, no problemo. Like I said, me and the boys like to bet on which of the six signature finishing moves General Skunkape uses to annihilate his opponent in Samu Max Pit of Contrition. That's some sweet Salmon Mac themed bling you got there. Bling? <laughs> Do people still say that? <laughs> and not just any bling. This here's a genuine pendant of Inquisition, given to me by Lord Samu Mac after I personally checked the 160,000 orifices of 20,000 guests at the security checkpoint of His Majesty's Summer Soiree. Classy. Tell me we're not going to do that. Can I uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, uh, I'll stick with cash. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. Come on, guys. Grow some basal ganglia. Mind if I lay down a bed? You? A freelance cop? Gambling on the street like a common rat? Hey, guys, wake up! What? What? The high and mighty freelance policeman wants to make a bet on the next fight. Bring him on. More money for us. So, which move do you think Skunkape will use next? Twenty bucks on the Great Ape Leg Sweep. Sam, since when do you have any cash? And, uh, <clears throat> where are you carrying it? A, since Sam and Mac kicked us out of our office, we've been saving a bundle by living out of the DeSoto, and B, none of your damn business. Touché. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? Hmm, let's see. How's about the Simeon Sucker Punch? Put me down for 20 on the Space Ape Kidney Punch. And I'll be taking all your dough with my bet on the Simeon Scissor Kick. But first, I better go get some cash. What's that all about? Frankie doesn't trust us, so he never carries any cash when he's around us. Subsequently, he always has to run off to the ATM machine every time he makes a bet. Hey, Paulie, you just called it an ATM machine. So what? So that's redundant, that's what. I'm back! Oh, that's a good thing, too. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern here were starting to put me into a coma. Shh, the fight's about to start! Looks like another blasphemous bowl man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Skunkape circles the ring. The challenger runs for his life. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it, yes, it's the Space Ape Kidney Punch. And the crowd goes wild. Where was the scissor kick? Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Ooh, more money for my Manny Petty. Come on! Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah! That Salmon Max sure is the bee's knees, isn't he? You know it, pal. Take a look at this cool bit of bling. If I get a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be hobnobbing with the big ass himself. Hey, you're a rat who knows how to get things. Plague, diphtheria, scabies. Do you have a line on any empty body so that we could drop Max's brain into? I'm getting a little existential in here. I'd like to help, guys, but uh, that's a little out of my pay grade. 
I can fix you up with a nice car stereo, though. Thanks, we'll pass. Let's not be too hasty, Sam. The powers of my psychic brain melded to a kicking sound system could be a formidable force for justice. Well, I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. I'll put a Jackson on the Simeon Sucker Punch. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'll take the Space Ape Kidney Punch. The Simeon Scissor Kick is calling to me, Frankie. And just to keep things interesting, I'll put 20 down on the Great Ape Leg Sweep. But first, I better go get some cash. We take jewelry! So, rats, huh? Well, how's that working out for you? Shh, the fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Ow! Boom goes the dynamite! Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh! The Simeon Scissor Kick! Brutal! And the crowd goes wild! No freaking way! Huh. I was sure it'd be the leg sweep. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Ooh, more money for my Manny Petty. Ooh, that's brutal. Hail Salmon Mac! Hail Salmon Mac! Hail Salmon Mac! Yeah, yeah, hail Salmon Mac. I'm picking up a faint whiff of disestablishmentarianism. I think that's Stinky's famous kelp nuggets. I'm sure something's supposed to go here. I just can't put my finger on it. Hey, mole guys. What can we do for you? Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of Salmon, Salmon Mac, we, we give, give a, a big, big salute. salute. Hey, you gave a backhanded salute. Are you a rebel? Rebels? Where? Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. That should keep him busy for the next few hours. So are you a rebel or not? We're much more than mere rebels. Hey, aren't you? To defeat Salmon Mac, you will need a weapon that our rebel forefathers originally used to separate his tyrannical brain from his spoiled body back in ancient Egypt. Cable television? No, we speak of the brain screw. Ooh, pointy and dangerous, two of my favorite things. Bring the sacred weapon close to Salmon Mac, and we'll take care of the rest. Bring the brain screw to Salmon Mac. Easy peasy. I fear it will be neither easy nor peasy. But fear not. I wasn't. We have obtained several tools to help you in your quest. My psychic toys! I've missed you, boys. Many more people sacrifice your dignity and 401ks to steal these infernal amusements out from under Salmon Mac's all-seeing gaze. Use them wisely. Wisely. That's adorable. <laughs> hey, Sam! Giddy up! Reverend Submission is tough on the knees. That's nice. Hey, I got us a case! Really? Yeah! The case of Sam and Max missing brain screw. Ooh, sounds pointy and dangerous. It better be, or you better get used to carrying me around. Uh, I've been carrying you for years. Well, if Sam and Max missing his brain screw, we'd better bring it back to him. He's probably in the throne room at the museum. How long is he going to be out like that? We'll keep him under until reality reasserts itself. I wish I had hands so I could draw a monocle on his face. Hey, my brain water's pretty warm, Sam. Try sticking his hand in my jar. Teleportation. <laughs> 
Dusty. Well, let me help you out with that, little buddy. Don't mind if you do. Smack Backs Yak Slacks. It's a story about how Salmon Mac briefly declared Andy and Weave Pants to be his most favored thing in the whole wide world for a few hours last Thursday, before he discovered how itchy they were and had them all destroyed in a massive bonfire. Fickle little tyrant, ain't he? Oh, I suppose in Salmon Mac world, the fire hydrants flow with fizzy grape soda. Don't be silly, old chum. They flow with plain old ambrosia, same as the faucets. What the heck is going on with our office? Oh, we got kicked out of it last week when Salmon Mac requisitioned it to make way for a new statue commemorating his new high score on Mimesweeper. <laughs> Where do we work now? Mostly out of the DeSoto. You know, I hadn't really thought about it until we were kicked out, but we haven't really used our office in months. If Salmon Mac is such a perfect ruler, and this is such a perfect world, then why are there still parking meters? Quit it, Max. Cognitive dissonance gives me gas, like my Uncle Barney's Great Dane. <laughs> no! I love Lord Salmon Mac! It looks like Grandpa Stinky's got a date with Lord Sam and Max Heretic Police in the near future. It's always the guy you most suspect, isn't it? I hope Girl Stinky's got an unlimited texting plan. <laughs> texting so 2009. All the cool kids are blimp dingling these days. <laughs> You're cute. It costs four lots of grain to use this payphone. I remember when it was just a half bladder of lamp oil. <laughs> Come on! You know, maybe it's just a 28.5% annual interest rate talking, but I'm feeling a mite peckish right now. A mite peckish? Have you been watching British TV again? I can't help it! The short seasons appeal to my limited attention span. Right in the Labanza! I better go to the museum to give Lord Salmon Mac his brain screw. I bet I'll get a cool reward. Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah! I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squeaky! I'll put down 20 on the Space Ape Kidney Punch. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'm liking that Gorilla Girly Slap. The Simeon Scissor Kick is calling to me, Frankie. And I'll sweeten the pot with 20 on the Simeon Sucker Punch. But first, I better go get some cash. Okay, I've got to ask. The Black Plague. Now, what was up with that? Shh, the fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Oh my! This one's almost over before it even had a chance to start. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh, the Simeon Scissor Kick! Brutal! And the crowd goes wild! No, 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 you stupid space ape! You were supposed to use the Sucker Punch! Oh, come on, Skunkape! Use your stinking hands! Ooh, more money for my Manny Petty! Come on! Hey, Sam! What is it, Max? Let's get a move on. 
Will do. Ooh, that's brutal. Future vision. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Ah, jeez. I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. No freaking way. Huh. I was sure it'd be the leg sweep. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh, man. That was even more useless than usual. Right in the Labanza. Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. I got 20 that says it'll be the Simeon Scissor Kick. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? Hmm, let's see. How's about the Simeon Scissor The Simeon Scissor Kick is calling to me, Frankie. And just to keep things in, but... We... I mess up. The fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it Wowie Zowie, the Gorilla Thigh yeah. Squeeze, and the crowd goes? No. Hey, F come on! I'd give the Pharaoh an aglet, but he had every last one of them. Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Why did I think he'd do one of those lame-o ape moves? No, 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 you stupid space ape! You were supposed to use the sucker punch! Ooh, that's brutal! Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. What's this one then? 20 simoleons on the Gorilla Girly Slam. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'll take the Space Ape Kidney Punch. Put me down for 20 on the Space Ape Kidney Punch. And I'll sweeten the pot with 20 on the Simeon Sucker Punch. But first, I better go get some cash. The fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Ow! Boom goes the dynamite! Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it yes, yes, the Gorilla Girly Slap? And the crowd goes wild! No, 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 you stupid space ape! You were supposed to use the sucker punch! Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Why did I think he'd do one of those lame-o ape moves? Hey, I won! Lucky dog. Yes, that's it. Luck. <laughs> no way, aided by a brain with powers to see into the future. Don't push it, Max. They may be smarter than they look. Right in the Labanza! Franklin? Again? Don't tell him. Yeah! Can I, uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, uh, I'll stick with cash. Don't go anywhere, Frankie. Why would I go? I feel a hot streak coming on. Come on! Right.
Yikes, that rat's bank account must have more zeros than Donald Trump's alimony checks. Salmon Mac shatters storm. Citizens rejoiced as Lord Salmon Mac used his mighty powers to disperse a thunderstorm in advance to his annual visit to our fair city. And look, there's a picture. How come your Lord Salmon Mac hasn't fixed the city's broken down payphones? He's phasing in brand new communications technology. A vast network of vacuum tubes? Nope. Messenger slaves crawling through a vast network of vacuum tubes. Hey, Sal! Sam! I see you got a new job. Grand Vizier Paperweight was so impressed with my work as a museum security guard that he promoted me to the chief offering collector here at the regional offering vault 714. It's true, you cockroaches really are survivors. Yep, and now I don't even have to patrol. All I gotta do is guard this door and take gifts into this impenetrable offering vault. It's a little slice of heaven. How go the offerings today? Ah, you know how it is. In a tough economy, charitable contributions go right down the toilet. Even gifts to Lord Salmon Mac? I know. The guy creates the sky and the stars and the creatures of the field, and people let a little thing like a double-dip recession stop them from paying their respects. It's a sick, sad world, Sal. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? How about this nifty brain in a jar? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? I'd make a perfect gift! For most people, sure, but Lord Salmon Mac has a thing about disembodied brains. Some sort of unresolved past life issues. Oh yeah, I remember reading about that in his autobiography. Looks like you'll have to stay out here with me, little buddy. You know, if Max here wasn't a brain, he'd probably make a fine offering. Sam and Mac loves it when people offer up their friends as gifts. <laughs> How about an authentic Egyptian brain screw? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? Didn't you hear? Sam and Mac hates those things. I should destroy it right now. We'd better hold on to it just in case Lord Sam and Mac changes his mind. Yeah, okay. He is a whimsical overlord. How about a handsome but seldom useful firearm? Lord Salmon Mac doesn't need guns. He could drop an army by wrinkling his cute little nose. I didn't know my cute little nose could wrinkle. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear ya. I got worthiness issues myself. I just love your Salmon Mac accessory. Pretty sweet, huh? That's my ornament of fealty. Lord Salmon Mac gave it to me for exposing an evil heretic. A heretic? What, did he deny the quadrine nature of the esoteric illuminations? Worse. He didn't salute fast enough. That is bad. So, to get my own ornament of fealty, I need to expose a heretic? Heretics aren't so easy to find these days. Everyone knows you gotta bow down to Salmon Mac if you want to stay out of the pit of contrition. Hey, Sal, does his absolute perfectionist have any empty bodies in there? My buddy's in the market for one. I'm sure he wouldn't miss it. First of all, the answer is no. Lord Salmon Mac doesn't have any empty bodies in there. Rats. Second of all, you really shouldn't kid around about stealing from the big guy. That kind of talk could get the Grand Vizier and his goons all over your keisters. If I had a butt, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Hey, stop bothering me. I finally found my place in Salmon Mac's blessed world, and I don't need my bubble rub by no freelance police. Sam and Mac rules. Lousy punks have no respect for spelling. Oh, look, Sam, a 
the door! Let's kick it in and blast the hell out of the poor slobs on the other side! Come on, Sam, what do you say? Huh? Wow. I hate the new reality! Nothing says beloved ruler like a ubiquitous surveillance network. It's about time they built an official Sam and Mac offering vault out here in the borough. Offering vault? You mean there's nothing in there but stuff that people have given to Sam and Mac? Yep. No more schlepping over to Newark for this Sam and Mac tithing doggy. Hey, Sam! What is it? Let's... System. I'm like a cushy government job, but with thunder. Are you precipitating? Um, sure. Precipitating, that's it. <laughs> oh, the weather's turning. I can feel it. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of, of Salmon, Salmon Mac, Mac, we, we give, give a big a salute! Big salute. Well, you look busy. Notice that. So we'll... What? We're between cases. I can hardly wait to bask in Lord Salmon Mac's presence. I hope I don't drool too much. Stinky! What do you want, you shiftless, tab-running losers? Can't you see I'm doing the Lord's work here? This will only take a minute. That's what you all... Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The, the brilliance, brilliance of Lord, of Lord Salmon, 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 Salmon Mac is more than, is we, more can than we can stand. Ah, ah, my poor knees. Blasphemer. Heretic alert. Heretic alert. Heretic alert. I'm not a heretic, you blithering idiots. I've got bad knees. Tell it to the pit of contrition, punk. No! I love Lord Salmon Mac. Sam and Max, in recognition of the great service you've done to your lord and master, I have been instructed by Samun Mac himself to reward you with one of his accessories of privilege. The ornament of fealty! Oh, he shouldn't have. As you are, everyone. Well done, Max. Yikes! What? Just a little brain cramp. Preparations are being made. Gather more accessories of privilege so that Sam can get next to Salmon Mac. No problem. And don't forget to bring the brain screw. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh, what a nag. Who are you talking to, Max? An, um, uh, an imaginary friend. I call him Floyd J. Dalrymple. You and your wacky psychic powers. Okay, let's have a nice, firm chat with this body-stealing croc-muncher. That's no way to talk about our divine leader, Max. Ah, oh, good grief. Kick him in the scarabs! Do it! Do it! Ooh! <laughs> well played, General Skunkape. You are truly our fiercest and smelliest warrior. I live for your praise, my liege. You know, I enjoy a good pummeling as much as the next brain in a jar, but that seemed really unfair. It may seem unfair, little buddy, but it's the only way those stinking rebels will learn to accept Sam and Mac's righteous rule. You're creepy when you're sycophantic, Sam. What's that? That is Lord Samonek's magnificent pyramid of corn dogs, a meticulously balanced marvel of nearly 340 stinky brand corn dogs. Don't you natives know anything about your own country? All right, Egypt boy, you can steal my silky fur and my charming cartilage, but you'll never take away my snack time indulgences. 
In the name of the sweet, the salty, and the cheap yellow mustard, I hereby liberate these corn dogs! <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> uh, Vizier, paperweight! Just our eyes deceive us, or is that a tiny storm cloud disturbing our magnificent corn dog pyramid? It would appear so, your radness. Listen up, everyone. This is Samunak. Forget what we said before. Ugh. We have had it up to here with those tiny little storm clouds wreaking havoc. If you see a gathering of storm clouds, report them to Grand Vizier Paperweight at once. A jihad against bad weather. <laughs> I'm starting to like this guy. I hope he goes after Graupo next. I hate those little balls of rhyme. The Pharaoh sure loves a good light show. Salmon Mac sure does love his corn dogs. You may have my body, you phony Pharaoh, but all your corn dogs are belong to Max! Hey, Pharaoh face, look at me! I'm dancing on the grave of your hopes and dreams! <laughs> <gasps> oh. <sighs> uh. What is that? It's a credit card, my liege. A credit card, hmm? Very well. Listen up, everyone. This is Samunak. Forget what we said before. From now on, credit cards are a scourge upon the land and our least favorite thing ever. So, if you see a credit card, rip it to shreds. What did I miss? I think you just single-handedly destroyed the foundations of the U.S. economy over a pile of corn dogs. What, again? <laughs> What a spread! Let's see, we've got Boar a la Faro, Ram's Blood Jigglers, Scarab Crunch, and... Ooh, is that Scorpion Noodle Bake? Skunkape, use your stinking hands. Ah, jeez, I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. No thigh squeeze? Ah, oh, that's brutal. Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. Twenty bucks on the Great Ape Leg Sweep. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'm liking that Gorilla Girly Slap. The Simeon Scissor Kick is calling to me, Frankie. And I'll pick the, uh, Gorilla Thigh Squeeze. But first, I gotta get some cash. <gasps> Uh-oh. A credit card? Lord Sam and Mac hates credit cards. Pulverize it. Now, guys... Don't you want in on that? They look like they've got it under control. No! Now what'll I bet? How about that funky pendant of yours? The pendant of Inquisition? But it was a gift from Samu Mac himself. An accessory, uh, what do you call it? Privilege. But if you win, you'll have that and 60 bucks! Hey, good point. I'm in. <laughs> 
Looks like another blasphemous bowl man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkabe. Let's see how he does. Oh my! This one's almost over before it even had a chance to start. Skunkabe's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh my yes! It's the great eight leg sweep! And the crowd goes wild! No thigh squeeze? Aww. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Ah, jeez. I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. Come to Papa. No! Hey, what about the cash? This accessory of privilege is all we need to get closer to the glory of Salmon Mac. Works for us. Well done, Max. Yikes! What? Just a little brain cramp. Our agents are almost in place. Obtain another accessory of privilege so that Sam may get close to the Pharaoh. I'm all over it. Love a salmon mac, don't say it. Toasty. Whee! Hey, Sal. Sam. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you got? How about a toaster? Hmm. No, I don't think his terrificness is all that into toasters. Darn. I'm not giving that back to Salmon Mac. He'll think I'm a re-gifter. I'm not giving that back to... Uh, on second thought... I hear you. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Notice anything different about me? Hey, you got yourself an ornament of fealty. You must have punked some heretics, eh, bro? Actually, I think it was kind of a misunderstanding. Yeah, they always say that. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Boy, <laughs> Oh, Lord Salmon Mac's gonna love this. Hmm, looks like someone's about to give Lord Salmon Mac the perfect gift. I hope it's me. No, you can't have my toy. I need to give this to the General. Hey! Wow, what do you call deja vu in the future? Deja vu? Hey, monkey boy! Monkeys have tails, dog man, and I'm busy. No, Sam! The brain screw belongs to Lord Salmon Mac! If a commoner touches it, you'll get icky mortal cooties all over it! Good thinking, little buddy. Be little fella, isn't he? You'd think his future biceps would have a little muscle tone after all that gladiating. Oh. 
What the? Apparently, the future is a hellish nightmare of slow motion action movie cliches. I'll be getting too old for that shit. Stop. <laughs> Kill her! Ooh, I'd hate to be the poor guy on the receiving end of that righteous wrath. It's a fudgy stick, sir. They're a big hit with the kids. Fudgy sticks? Hey ho, everyone! Salmon Mac here again! We'd like everyone to know that fudgy sticks are officially our favorite things in the world! We think they're tops! Well, that's it! Goodbye! Hmm, if I had one of those, I could give it to Salmon Mac. Oh, there we go. What's that? Army off you? Uh. In days of yore, British sailors would often follow Pramiopia, the baby buggy, to guide their vessels home. Woo! Vizier, what is that magnificent contraption? It's a pram, my liege. A pram, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac. Holy of Holies here! From now on, crams are hereby decreed to be the ginchiest things in all creation! We Ginchist. love them, and you should too! That is all. In 1999, the Wedgeco Electric Company paid $15 million to purchase the naming rights of this constellation, now forever known as the Wedgeco Flying Toaster. Woo! What is that? It's a Wedgeco Toaster, Your Omnipotence. A toaster? Greetings, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, the Divine, speaking. From this day forward, toasters are the most exalted things in all the universe, ranking just below yours truly on the awesome meter. Just thought you should know. I'd better go to the museum to give Lord Salmon Mac his brain screw. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? How about a toaster? Ooh, nice. You think Sam and Mac will like it? Didn't you hear? Those wedge coat toasters are like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toasters all day. Oh, the vault's jammed full of them. The last thing he needs is another dang toaster. Darn. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have any... Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Salmon Mac would love to get his hands on you, since he's a big toaster freak these days. Ick. 
But I bet everyone else is getting toasters for him, too. Huh. That's the second largest stack of corn dogs I've ever seen. Hey, spare me, Yak! Your stupid pyramid is toast! <gasps> oh. Is that? It's a wedge called toaster, sir. A toaster, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Samun Mac, Lord of all creation! Forget what we said before. From now on, toasters are officially the most horrid, beastly things in the whole wide world! And if you see a toaster and you want to make us happy, break it into tiny little bits! Well, that means every toaster in the world is now utterly and irrevocably destroyed. But where does that leave toaster pastries? Room temperature, little buddy. Room temperature. <laughs> hmm. Everybody, just thought you should know that the bestest thing in the world are now toasters. Bye bye. Teleportation. I'd give the Pharaoh an aglet, but he had every last one of them destroyed. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you got? Is that? Yes, yes it is. Oh, Lord Salmon Mac's gonna love this. Wedgeco toasters are his favorite things in the world. So I've heard. But they've been so scarce since the purging. Where'd you find this one? I, uh, made it. It's amazing what you can do with a glue gun, some pipe cleaners, and a little imagination. Amazing. Well, I'll just stash this bad boy in the vault. Sam, in gratitude for your truly one-of-a-kind offering, Lord Samon Mac has ordered me to present you with one of his accessories of privilege. A medallion of superlative tithing. I don't know what to say. Gratitude would be appropriate, peon. Thank you, Sam and Mac. Hey, you're back, little brain buddy. Wait a sec. If you're here, what about... Don't overthink it, Sam. Sweet hopping Horace on a two-headed asp. I've got three accessories of privilege. You know what that means, Max? We get a free hoagie on our next visit? No, it means I'm worthy of basking in the transcendent radiance of Lord Sam and Max's divine personage. I'd prefer the hoagies. You don't even have a mouth. Hmm, I wonder if I should shave first. Wow, that spindly old mole woman's really holding her own against Skunk Ape. Who knew that that Dame Judy Dench exterior was hiding the ninja skills of Mila Jovovich? I don't think Mila Jovovich is really a ninja, Max. This should be fun. Stop! Who dares trespass into the inner circle of the Lord High Samun Mac? I dare, Grand Vizier Pepperpot. <laughs> We've got the bling of whatever to prove it. It appears they'll give out accessories of privilege to anyone these days. Very well. Let it be written that Sam and Max, freelance police, have been granted entry into the inner circle of the Lord High Sam and Mac, maker of worlds and breather of life. Welcome, Sam and Max. Try not to bother the Lord High. He's a busy god. Check it out, Max. It's Lord Sam and Max's box of power. I wish I had a box of power. Deep down, I think everyone does, Max. Lord Sam and Mac, thanks for welcoming me into your inner circle. I can't believe I'm so close to your radiant gloriousness. Yes, yes, it's a great honor. Now still your tongue. We're watching the fight. 
He talked to me. Stop drooling, Sam. Try not to bother the Lord High. He's a busy god. Almost mighty and glorious Lord Salmon Mac. I have something you might be interested in. Six Semper Tyrannus! Hey now, Missy, be careful with that thing. Sam, no! You furry fool! Well done, my wet nosed and faithful servant. Now, finish off this wretched assassin. Isn't that a little harsh? How about we just slap her with a fine or revoke her internet privileges for a few days? <laughs> Come on, Sam, don't be a jerk. I'm sorry, my liege. I can't do it. What? Ha! Paperweight, how could you let her escape? No, oh, I am so very sorry, your perfectness. And you, you have disappointed us for the first and only time, Sam. Into the pit of contrition with you! Yes, your awesomeness. Yes, I shall enjoy this. Let the divine punishment begin! I've waited a lifetime for this, Earth Cur! But we only imprisoned you in the penal zone a couple of hours ago. Yes, but due to the temporal differences between this dimension and the- La, la, la. Just <laughs> shut up and fight. Yes, your gloriousness. Yes, your wonderfulness. Let us see what you've got. Max, a little help here? I couldn't have done it without you, Max. Who knew Skunk Ape was so sensitive about getting dumped by paperweight? Looks like you're gonna win! That's very... Ow! Comforting. Hi-ya! Oh! Did that help? A little, but do you think you can widen the zoom on these visions a bit? Maybe if I had some hands, I could fiddle with the lenses. <laughs> Still standing? I'm impressed. If this is all it takes, you'll be really impressed when I kick your crimson keister. Hey, Skunky! What? I can't believe you're doing Paperweight's dirty work. What are you talking about? I don't see him in here getting all sweaty with Mole Man, do you? Ha! <laughs> the only thing Paperweight is good for is fetching me more grapes after my battles. <laughs> Hey, Skunky! What? I've been wondering, what? Can you get free space gas with your AARP card? Ah! You clumsy off! Do you know how much that equipment costs? Hey, Skunky! What? So, the Mole Men giving you a good fight? Don't be ridiculous. Those dreary little Mole Men barely get my pulse racing. It's all I can do not to double over laughing when I see them running around the arena. Hey! Liberté! Egalité! With Mole! Down with the Pharaoh! La la la. So cool. Hey, Skunky! What? It must have hurt when Paperweight dumped you, huh? What are you talking about? You know, when he ditched your little alliance of the Beatles supervillains. What? Paperweight didn't break the alliance! I broke it! I dumped him! That's a lie! Ah! My eyes! Hi-ya! Oh! oh. I have had 
enough of you! I knew you could do it, Sam. Even though I may have secretly placed some side bets against you. I couldn't have done it without you, Max. Who knew Skunk Ape was so sensitive about getting dumped by paperweight? Must we do everything around here? If you will not submit to our champion, then we will personally have the pleasure of scraping you from the papyrus of reality! Try not to ruin my face, Sam! And don't think we haven't noticed you meddling with our stolen toys! Ah, croco dung! Now, insect, strike me if you can! I can't, your gloriousness! That's more like it. I was right. This is fun. Max, give me a hand here. But I don't have any hands, Sam. Or magic toys. When has that stopped you before? All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Sam and Mac is stupid. Sam and Mac is lame. <laughs> You're next, brain. <laughs> I got nothing. Don't just stand there like a flea. Fight me. <laughs> Why so quiet, Sam? Bastet got your tongue. Salmon Mac, you're really... Yes? A heck of a guy. <laughs> Go ahead, make my epoch. Uh, uh. Any ideas? I was kind of hoping you'd have some, little buddy. <laughs> You know what I could go for right now? Some cheesy fries. Not helping, Max. <laughs> Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Careful, Kerr. You almost hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon Mac is mighty! Salmon Mac is grand! The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. Kneeling won't save you now, traitor. Salmon Mac is handsome! Salmon Mac is cute! When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big sa- uh. Loot? Never be a grand vizier now. Ooh, have I got a headache? Hey, did I just miss out on one of those reality makeover capers? Yep, you were pretty much useless through the whole thing. Dang. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I saved the day all by myself. Even though I had my hands, legs, and all my internal organs tied behind my back. Hey, nice work, little buddy. Now hurry up and put my brain back in my body. This jar's starting to fog up. There you are, Max. Good as, uh, new. Ooh, it's tight in here. All that demon broth must have fattened up my brain. We'll get you on a steady diet of brain-shrinking reality shows tomorrow. Now, let's stow this troublemaking toy box someplace safe before another delusional jerkwad gets his hands on it. Aside from me, you mean? Sam is coming! Sam is coming! Sam is coming! You don't have to repeat yourself. And besides, I'm right here. Actually... What? This is just like that dream I had last night. I wonder if he studied for his finals. Why don't you ask them? Huh. 
Max? Yes? Shouldn't I be waking up about now? Shouldn't I be waking up now? <laughs> a good question from a good dog. And one that you are no doubt asking yourself even now. Along with, who is the ominous Dr. Norrington? How did Monsieur Papierweight survive for over a century? And what is the dealio with all those naked Sams? We'll have answers of a sort to these questions in our next chapter. Until then, my friends, sleep well. David and his mop. Wow. Brendan Q. Ferguson. Some interesting names. Alright. Finished episode three. Thanks for watching.